You probably got one of the only videos I've ever seen with Tay K. Not one. I think I am the oh, only. That's the only one. Huh? Yeah, the only one. The only thing in the that world. Real. But really it, that boy went crazy. Like doing that, that record with Tay K at that time was he on the run when y'all shot that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit was already. That shit was old. He was he was already on the run before he even before he we even did that. Ah uh, damn! You said what? He was already on the run. He was already on the run before we even did that. That shit was old. That's what I'm saying. That shit that would hit the news. That shit was old. That's why when. We did the video and shit like that. It went, it blew up like that because they was already looking for him. They didn't know where he was at. They just said he was somewhere in the Metroplex. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That conversation of being with Tay K, because Say Cheese did do a dope ass interview last year with his sister. That kind of brought light to his side. And then just hearing his story, you know what I'm saying? Coming from Vegas or whatever, coming out here, kid on his own, you know what I'm saying? Not much support system, bro. What was Tay K like behind the scenes with y'all, being that y'all had a report with him? See, he was really cool, for real. Like, yeah, he gonna really put, yeah, he, really shit, funny. he he take his rap and shit serious too. Like, yeah, like he be serious when it come down to his verses. Like when it come down to niggas hearing him for real, he wanna spit the hardest shit. He'll go in there and do his shit. He'll redo his shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. The verse that we did, that was our second verse. He had did a whole another verse and went, give me ten minutes, let me write some, and then came back in there and did this shit. They knocked that boy out. Yeah, yeah like he wasn't there. Do you think like him blowing up the way he did behind and him already behind the walls? Like, do you think that's kind of like a torment to an artist knowing that your shit is going crazy, but you back there, or is he? You think he back there living like a king? Like, shit. Real talk, that shit lame, bro. Cause they knew he was one. Of, they knew he was gonna take over, bro. Yeah. He was on some. He was on some cheap keep shit. Real talk. Everybody, every biggest, all the biggest artists want to sign that man. Yeah. And every label want to sign that man. He sitting behind bars, couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. That shit lame as fuck. I hate that shit for that nigga. Now, speaking of labels, have you ever signed with anybody? Yeah. Why not? Shit, at the time they went off and shit that I want to fuck with. So shit, I used to turn that shit down. And then on top of that, I was young as hell. I ain't had like, no lawyers, no managers. Yeah, no managers, no. You know what I'm saying? Everything I done did is strictly off of. Me, game, niggas telling me, shit, you should do this, you know what I'm saying? I had a one man, her name was Morgan. She helped me out a lot, but we were still young. She was, we was the same age type shit. Oh, got gotcha. you. You know what I'm saying? So like, shit, we were just doing shit, what we thought we were supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, right now, man, it's you dropping a project February 2nd. Yeah. Um, This is the, when was the last project you dropped? A year ago. A year ago. Yeah. Like, what's what can we expect on this project, man? That that's gonna make it different. And what is it? A mixtape? Is it an album? And what sets this off differently than the other ones you've done? I'm gonna call it an album because shit. Usually I do like because I'm known for plug, plug. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit. <clears throat> this one only got like three plug songs, and the rest of them on some different shit, different type beats. You know what I'm saying? And that's the only because. Usually I use, it's like I said, it's usually more plugs. So like, when I give them different type of producers, different type of sounds for each one, you know what I'm saying? I call that like some album shit, cause I really took time for this. Like I really took time. And usually I just drop a a, a mixtape and I just eat off that whole bitch for a year. That's how good my shit be doing. Type gotcha. Shit. But this one, I actually like took the time out. I was going different places with these songs, different places, I got different vibes. You feel me? like. So them songs kind of sounded, it gave me different sounds. Gotcha. Like shit. I waited and I put all, to me, I just put all the hardest ones to me together. And shit, now it's ready, now I'm ready to drop it, my brother. Well, I tell you what, man, I'm glad you finally, you know what I'm saying, responded to the DM. I think I sent that shit with Matt March of last year. <laughs> 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 that bitch was in the top See, for it, a minute. It's all good, it man. It just goes, I really don't be on the internet like that. It's all good, man. I know I wasn't there yet. You know, if I was real tuned to somebody, cotton to somebody, you, you see, I ain't never did. I ain't I'm, never did. I don't even. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know what real tune is. Uh, you don't know what real tune TV? Real no, tune. but I don't be on the internet like I that. I got you. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like tune I be on there sometime, but I really don't be on it. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Like when you come down, even listening to other people's shit. Like I heard this shit through other people. Got you. You know what I'm saying? I really just listen to me and my niggas and well, old off the grid. music, like old Jeezy, old Gucci, old Future. Like that's really where I got my. <laughs> Like how I built my sound up, so I still listen to that type of shit. Got you. you know so I don't really listen to nobody else. You don't get inspired like no R and B, no Bruno Mars, no nothing. Yeah, nah. Shit, I get inspired by the you know what I'm saying niggas I just named like 
future. You know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with Thug. Got you. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Thug. I fuck with Future. I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shiesty. I fuck with Shiesty. Okay. But shit. That about it. For real. Hey, right, man. Well, I tell you what, bro. Your journey definitely is, you know, inspiring. Like, a lot of people think that you always got to have a blog. You you show that shit. You just got to... At the end of the day, I don't know who I was interviewing. I, I think I was either Walt Light Dort Jordan or Solo Lucy. One of the two is like, bro, if it's boring here, leave. If it's stale, nigga, leave. Go somewhere else and ex- expand yourself. That's how I feel. I feel like shit. Because at that time when I was like that, shit, I was trying to... I wanted to perform. That's what my shit was. I yeah. wanted to perform. I wanted... Niggas to see me and my niggas. Like, cause they, every time I do a show, when well, most of the time I do a show, I make I try to make sure my niggas get a song on my set. You feel me? So like I want niggas to see us. You feel me? Like I told you, I was influenced by Chief Keep. All I seen was Chief Keep Blow Game. Gotcha. I wanted my game to just like that type of shit. I want everybody to be known for something. You know Why what I never saying? tap in with Post Malone? Shit. Like he was out there. Yeah, I mean, shit, I know his artists. His artists, I'm not trying to say he just like a fan of me, but he a fan of me type shit like. You know what I'm saying? He cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I ain't never got to see Post Malone or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Got like, you. I don't believe in the Instagram shit. And it's just, it just seemed both Dallas natives or DFW natives, because I know he not really in yeah. Dallas. But but when I thought about it, bro, I didn't never really see Post Malone on the underground scene too much either. Like maybe one or two places, maybe some off brand oh, show. Seen, I yeah, never yeah. seen, never seen Post Malone, and I done, I done did big ass. Big ass festivals and shit like that. I still ain't never seen, bro. But he just went out and did what you did. Went to L.A. Shit be having it happen like that, Man. bro. What if you was white? Where you think you would be at right now? <laughs> Far as hell. <laughs> <laughs> the plug shit still going on right now. I did this shit almost 10 years ago. Damn. If I was white and I did the plug shit, then fucking label would probably gave me 20 goddamn men. If I was rapping the same shit I was rapping as a white boy. Man. Not trying to be racist or anything like that. But that's real. Or like, a, or like you know what I'm saying, a mix... <laughs> Like uh, if like uh, like if I was a little punk, yeah, you know what I'm saying. If I was one of them, nigga, be all like a bitch. <laughs> Real talent, that shit ain't that what y'all see? That's all y'all see. That's all y'all see, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. Shit. Hey, man, for some reason, they love seeing white people do stuff that black people always do. I mean, I fuck with it too. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, yeah, but if if I was one, if I was like that. And I had the same type of sweat that I had. If I was the same person and I was just white. Damn, man. He lied. So, It'd be like, bro, this nigga is too icy. So let's put it like this, then. And we ended off the, just the narrative. If Sean Cotton or Gutter TV, one of them two were white, would they be bigger than Vlad and Adam 22? They'd probably be just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> be just white, as white. big. Yeah, yeah. I was white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I wish I was white, bro. But y'all know that shit. 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 Y'all know that shit.